In this video, we're going to cover a few different ways to work with linked elements with selection nodes available in Rhythm. If you're a consultant that works with linked models pretty often, like an MEP consultant, it's something that you probably needed for a little while. Uh, so if any of that sounds interesting, check out the rest of this video. All right, so in this file, I'm just, it's a sample file with a linked advanced sample model and a basic sample model linked in as well. With that in mind, I'm gonna go ahead and open Dynamo. So working with linked elements, we've always had that ability with things like spring nodes. I think Clockwork has some nodes in there as well, Genius Loki. There's a whole bunch of different packages that let you collect elements from links. When it comes to generative design or Dynamo Player, you can't use those nodes because they're not UI nodes. And it gets a little weird when you're trying to make workflows that work like that. In this case, these nodes were kind of born out of necessity because I needed them for our MEP examples that we're doing on the Dynamo blog. So if we navigate to Rhythm, Revit, Selection, we have a new option in here called Revit Link Selection. We have a node for select element from link. So if I place that, we'll see that we have a singular select element from link. We have a select element from link of category, select elements from link, and select elements from link of category. In the case of these two nodes with the category dropdown, they work with generative design or Dynamo Player, but the dropdown's not changeable. So it's, it's not the most perfect situation, and that's a Dynamo out of the box thing. Hopefully that changes soon, but those are available to you as well. In the case of actually working with links, so let's go ahead and toggle this. If I were to do select element from link and I hover over my link, I'll see that I'm able to select things. So if I select one of these tables, we now have the table and we're also outputting a transform and we'll see why that's important here in a second. For the select elements from link, we can actually come in, I'll pick a room, and we can pick from multiple links. So that's where this is really cool. So if I were to zoom in here, we can hover and start picking other elements. So in this case, I'll pick another chair or table, and we'll actually have to hit finish in Revit. And we were now able to select elements from multiple links. So that's really nice as well. And also part of the reason why we're outputting coordinate systems for every element. So that's another thing to keep in mind. For this one, let's go ahead and select furniture in both links. That way I can work with them in the same way. Select this table. I'll select this table as well. Finish. Now we have two families selected that should have similar things. Transforms are really important when working with linked elements because if you move a link, it now needs to be moved around. So if we were to get the location of these elements, we'll see that we do have those locations a little odd. So like in a 3D view, for instance, that point right there is not where the link is. So if we kind of look, we'll see that I'm getting points in kind of weird places that link is actually over here. It got moved after the fact. So that's kind of a weird thing to keep in mind. So we actually have to do a transform on this. So that's where those coordinate systems come into play. So we're getting the geometry, the context that we're transforming to, and then we just need a coordinate system for this existing file. So we'll just make one at the default zero, zero. And now that's going to be the points that we want to work with. So if I turn off the preview on that previous one, we should start to see those points make more sense. So transforms are something that's always important for us to work with. Yeah, so we'll start to see those points start to get selected a little more accurately as well. And if we get the geometry, we'll see that mirrored in that same manner. So working with transforms is something that people often overlook. If we do a select element from link of category, I'll pick a room. And now we're filtered down into room. So it does work for filtered selection as well. And we'll see that that outputs very similarly. 
So there it is. Those are the nodes that are now available in Rhythm that let us work with links from category. Give them a try. They did take a bit of effort to implement after all, because they are UI nodes. Uh, see how they work out for you. But other than that, I hope they help out. Have fun with them and thanks. Thank you.